This is now the third video looking at finding a specific solution to a second order differential equation given initial or boundary conditions. If you haven't seen the other two, please watch those as they'll give you a good insight. We're asked to find a solution subject to a given initial conditions for each of the following differential equations. So this one is d2x by dt squared minus 4dx dt plus 4x is equal to 3t e to the 2t, x is naught, dx dt is naught, t is equal to naught. And we're told that we should be using the particular integral now of p t cubed or lambda t cubed, whatever you want to say, and then we're going to have e to the 2t. So it's not pt squared as before, it's pt cubed. This p is not related to the lowercase, I've just used it as a constant. Okay, this one is going to be a bit messy. What we're going to have then is first the general solution of this equation will be in the form x is equal to the complementary function plus a particular integral. We can obtain the complementary function by setting the left-hand side of this differential equation equal to zero and solving the auxiliary equation. So if I do that, I'm going to have m squared minus 4m plus 4 is equal to zero, which is a perfect square. So m minus 2 all squared is equal to zero. So m is going to be equal to 2 and we have repeated roots. That means that the complementary function would give me x is going to be equal to, and we can write this two different ways. We can write this as a t e to the 2t plus b e to the 2t, or you could have written it the other way around. And this gives rise to x is equal to, now we have e to the 2t, and then we have a t plus b. That is now the complementary function. We now need to find the particular integral, and we've got 3t e to the 2t. So what we're going to do is take x equal to pt cubed e to the 2t. Okay, what we need then is dx dt, and also we need d2x by dt squared. And this looks like it's going to become an absolute mess. I will allow you to solve that and use the product rule. I'll do it now. But if you want to hit pause, um, because it's, I'm working off the top of my head, it might get a little messy. So what we're going to have then is p t cubed, and then the derivative now will be 3 t squared p. e to the 2t, its derivative will be 2 e to the 2t. So collecting this up, what we're going to have now is 3 t squared p e to the 2t. And then we're going to end up now with, what's that going to be? 2pt cubed e to the 2t. So that's where we wind up. Um, and looking at it in terms of actually factoring that any further, I'm, I'm going to leave it as it is. So that's what we've got. So dx dt is 3t squared p e to the 2t plus 2p cubed e to the 2t. We now need to find the second derivative. If we consider this part right here, what we can see right here is we've got 2pt cubed e to the 2t. So essentially, if we find the derivative of this right here, we end up with this. So the first part, I can say I'm going to get two lots of all of this. Okay, So that's going to leave me 3t squared pe to the 2t plus 2p t cubed e to the 2t. And now all we need to do, and I say all we need to do, is differentiate this. So this is part of it, so I can add this now. What I've simply done is said, well, we've just done the derivative of this part right here. So if I multiply all of this by 2, then I can do this. Now I'm going to find the derivative of this one. So we get 3t squared, and then what's that going to leave me? Uh, 6t. And then what we're going to have now is PE to the 2T. So PE to the 2T, and we'll have 2PE to the 2T. So let's collect all of this up right now, and we will have 6TPE to the 2T. And then on this one, we'll have plus 6T uh, squared PE to the 2T. Right, so if we now add this part to 
this part, then we've got a second derivative. And if you can think of a quicker way of doing it, please fill your boots. Um, I'm kind of going as I, I go. So adding these two bits together. So let's see what we end up getting. We're going to end up now, let's see if we've got any, right, we've got a term in t cubed e to the 2t. So what I can write now is 4p, so we've got 4p t cubed e to the 2t. So that one's done, uh, so we'll get shot of that. Let's look at terms in t squared. I've got 6t squared p e to the 2t, and then another one, so that's going to be plus 12, and then we'll have p, and then we'll have t squared e to the 2t. So that one's gone, and that one's gone, and that just leaves me now plus 6t p e to the 2t. So that is now the second derivative. So we can place this right here. Um, should we factor that? In all reality, I think I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, I think it's going to look uh, no better, and it's probably going to hinder us, in fact. So let's write this now as 4p t cubed e to the 2t plus 12p t squared e to the 2t plus 6t uh, p e to the 2t. So lots of product rule in there, lots of messing about, um, but essentially we've got our values. Right, so let's see what we've got. Now if we consider that we've got, uh, on here, we've got now, and I'll just put a bracket around this, what we've got here is, uh, to sub this into our differential equation, and I suggest you do put this into the differential equation, we're going to have one of these, we're going to have minus four of those, and we're going to have four of those. Now, I'm looking for terms independent, well, I say independent, it's purely in terms of t. So what we've now got, we can see here that the only one that we've got now is follows. We've got one lot of 6t p e to the 2t. We're, we're interested in matching this up. So what we can say then is 6, now we'll have 6p t e to the 2t will be equal to 3t e to the 2t. Consider all the other ones. Now, all of the other ones are where we've got, um, we've got t squared, we've got t cubes. If we solve now for p, what we can see on this is that 6 p is going to be equal to 3, so p will be equal to 1 half. So, there we go. p is equal to 1 half. After all that, p is equal to 1 half. But you can see, we've picked that up from down here. So, here's our complementary function. Our particular integral now is x will be equal to 1 half. That's what p is. 1 half uh, t cubed e to the 2t. We have now complementary function and particular integral. So general solution to the differential equation, x will be equal to e to the 2t. We will have a t plus b plus, now we're going to have 1 half t cubed e to the 2t. That right there is the general solution to the differential equation. Um, can we make that look any nicer? Well, we can because we can take out now um, the, the e to the 2t. So we can say x is going to be equal to e to the 2t. Then we can have at plus b uh, plus, what's that going to give us? 1 half uh, t cubed. Sorted. Right. So that would be my form if we were asked for a general solution. If we were asked for a general solution to that in an exam, I'd probably... Um, change subjects because that's just just too much too much hassle to be under pressure to find all of that and as i say i'm doing this as i go so i'm kind of assuming i've got it sorted right so now we want to find the specific solutions we're told now that x is equal to naught so x is equal to naught when t is equal to one and i think it said d uh what was it now on this it said uh dx dt was equal to one so dx dt equal to 1. So let's first start now when x is 0 and t is going to be giving us 1. So let's see what we've got on here. Um, sorry, we've got x is, what was it? We've got x is 0 and t is 0. Okay, my apologies, x is 0 and t is 0. So when x is 0, we can put 0 is going to be equal to e to the 2 lots of 0, which is just going to be 1. Then what we're going to have here, we're going to have a lots of 0, which is going to be 0, plus b, 
and then plus uh, one half t lots of naught. And you might want to show that you've subbed that in. So you might want to show um, e to the naught, then a lots of naught plus b uh, plus one half lot of naught. Uh, and we can see from that that b is going to be equal to naught. What I'm now going to do is rewrite this and I'm going to say x is equal to e to the 2t, then what we're going to have is a t plus, and we can write, in fact, you might have even wanted to have brought a, um, a factor of t out at this stage, one half t cubed. That makes my life slightly easier. We have now got the initial conditions that dx dt is 1 when t is equal to naught. So let's find dx dt. So dx dt, again, we can use the product rule, e to the 2t, two 2e two to the 2t, we're going to have a t uh, plus one half t cubed. And then what's the derivative of that going to be? That's going to be a uh, plus 3 over 2 t squared, isn't it? So let's put all this back together and see what we end up with. So now we're going to have uh, dx dt, and I'll write it down here so we're running out of space. dx dt is going to be equal to 2e to the 2t we'll have a t plus one half t squared, and then we will have plus e to the two t, and then we'll have a plus three over two t, uh, what are we gonna have? Uh, that one's t cubed, isn't it? So that one's t cubed, and that one's gonna be t squared. If you want, you can factor this. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bother because I'm kind of running out of, a steam at the moment. dx dt is equal to 1. Uh, didn't want to do that. So let's put in now dx dt is equal to 1. So 1 is going to be equal to, and now we'll sub in 0. In your exam you might want to show it. 2e to the 0 is 2. Then we're going to have a lots now of 0, which is going to be 0, plus 1 half of 0. Then we're going to have plus now e to the 2 lots of 0, which is just going to give me 1. And then we're going to have a plus naught okay so what we can see after all that a is going to be equal to one therefore we are finally there we can write if a is equal to one then the general solution of our differential equation is x is equal to e to the 2t a is equal to one so what we're going to get is the following we'll get t plus one half t cubed and you can write that in whichever manner you want. If you want to bring out a t, if you want to bring out um, what the uh, one half, you're welcome to do that. Um, it's entirely up to you how you want to express that final answer. If you want to expand it out, you can do. Uh, what could I write it as? X is equal to t e to the two t, and then we'd have plus uh, we'd have one plus one half t squared, or anything that remotely relates to that. I don't think by the time you get to that, you're going to get penalised. So that right there is the specific solution to the original differential equation. Dx, uh, d2x by dt squared minus 4dx dt plus 4x is equal to 3t e to the 2t. When x is not, dx dt is 1 and t is equal to naught. If you got that in an exam, I would be, I mean, you can see the clock on that. I've kind of I've rushed through that and it's taken nearly a quarter of an hour. So there we go, there's your final answer.